Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. Day four, Longhorn 10 for 10 countdown. John Tran, who we got, man? Brandon Jones. Brandon Jones, another captain. Mm -hmm. Senior leadership, coming back. Got a pretty good grade from the NFL. Says, hey, I want to come back and, and finish my senior season. How do you feel about him being number four on the list? Uh, I feel very comfortable with him being definitely in the top five. I, I mean, he's arguably probably the top three, too. But, I mean, just the our, our three after this are really that important. And he's just honestly one, I think, the most underrated and most under-talked about. Discussed? Well, I think from Player? a national standpoint, I mean, he didn't wasn't on the Thorpe Award nope. watch list. Uh, didn't make all first or all Big Twelve nope. preseason, all Big Twelve. Had, he, we've heard his name thrown around from an NFL ranking standpoint among scouts mm -hmm. because of the speed, the smarts, and his tackling ability. But from a notoriety standpoint, Caden Stearns has been, you know, poster just received child. the poster yeah, child, poster child. You know, and 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 it's cool because we have he's our second person in, in here on our in our defensive backfield after B.J. Foster. And he's a guy who is our returning, the leading returning tackler, I believe with 70 tackles. So he has shown that productivity, even right off the bat as a freshman. I remember when he came in blocking punts on mm -hmm. special teams, right? Showing that speed, showing that ability to make plays. Um, why do you think he's so underrated? And what do you appreciate about Brandon, um, you know, to, to warrant this spot here for him? Well, I think he's underrated in the regard that he's our He's the leader of our defensive backs. I, th I, Caden Stearns is just a, a phenomenal athlete, and he he'd be fantastic. But I don't think his ramp time would be as quick without Brandon Jones. Great right point there with him. Great point. Um, not only that, you know, if you're looking at putting people in the NFL, let's compare him to a former Longhorn. Probably was he our last first round, or was uh, was Malcolm, Malcolm Brown? Brown. Mal okay, the one before. Uh, so Ke Kenny Bacall. Kenny Bacall had great instincts. I, I actually think that. Brandon Jones has a little bit better instincts with him, with more speed than uh, Kenny Bacall. I think Kenny Bacall ran like a four six or something mm -hmm. like that at the, at the combine. At the combine. Yeah. And he was uh, still a first round pick, still yeah, like fourteenth overall. Yeah, he was fourteenth overall. And if if you're going to have someone with a similar skill set at a faster pace, uh, wouldn't you, wouldn't that translate as well? I mean, I agree. I think I think what Brandon has to show is, and I, and I talk about this sometimes with a lot of different guys is. Just better hands on the ball and, and, and having the opportunity to make plays. Now we did, we have seen his ability to do that. You know, having you know the interception against uh, Kyler Murray, the best bait play I think he did mm -hmm. right there. And so we we know it's he's capable, but he has to show that more. Like the, that's the wow factor that Caden Stearns has has shown where. He, you know, he gets ball in hand, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but Brandon Jones, I mean, he's got unbelievable leadership ability. You hear Tom Herman rave about him all the time. Todd um, Orlando said he wants his daughter to marry someone like him or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I which mean, is they, the highest praise I think from a father. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And and shout out to our friends over at Horse, Horns Illustrated. They did an awesome feature. Steve Hable did an awesome feature mm -hmm. on Brandon Jones in the magazine. If you guys haven't gotten your copy of it. Please go check it out. But um, one of the quotes, you know, I got from it was, I wanted to honor my commitment of having the horns back on top before I left in regards to him returning to school. I, you know, and, and I can't stress that enough in terms of developing the culture mm -hmm. of this program and having somebody that did ball out, you know, return. Because he still did play 10 games, but he's like, man, I still left some meat on the bone. There's more that I want for me personally. I wanted to be a team captain. I want to graduate from the University of Texas, and I want to win. Yeah. So that's why we got Brandon here, number four, Brandon Jones. Guys, four days away from the season starting. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of Kenny Picaro, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good call. Four days away. Uh, we are so excited to kick off at Louisiana Tech. Guys, horn's always up.